Are you looking for a color palette for your deep sky objects that's different than what you're used to seeing? Then Polyman Astro's 4X Palette Utility is right for you. By the end of this video, you'll know how to download it and use the 4X Palette Utility to create a 4X Palette for both your deep sky object and stars. Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today we're gonna to be talking about a unique color palette called the 4X Color Palette. And we're gonna be learning how to install Polyman Astro's 4X Palette Utility into PixInsight and learn how to use it to give your images a unique look. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's head on over and learn how to install Polyman Astro's 4X Palette Utility and how to use it. To use Polyman Astro's 4X Palette Utility, you first need to install it in the PixInsight. Now, I go over how to do this in my PixInsight download and installation video, but what you're going to do is, under Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories, you need to have the link for the 4X Palette Utility. Now, I'll have this link in the description of this video. And I'll also have a link to my PixInsight installation video. But what you're going to do is go ahead and click on the link for the 4X Palette Utility located in the description of this video. And that's going to bring you to the website. It doesn't matter what the website says. All that it's going to do for you is allow you to copy the URL. Once you have the URL copied, what we're going to do is go to Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories, click Add, and paste that URL into the box. And then you're going to hit OK, and then you're going to hit OK. Now, I already have this installed, so I'm not going to do it again. But once you have that done, all you're going to do is Resources, Updates, Check for Updates. Now, my PixInsight is already up to date, so I'm not going to be able to show you the box directly, but you'll have a box that pops up which shows all of the available updates, the 4X Palette Utility being one of them. In the bottom left, you'll click Select All and then hit OK. Now, PixInsight should restart automatically. If it does not, go ahead and close out of PixInsight, and uh, you'll have an update box pop up. You may or may not have another box pop up in the middle of your screen that asks if you want to allow the uh, application to make changes to your device. If that box pops up, just go ahead and hit OK. And um, PixInsight should restart once it's done updating. If it does not, go ahead and reopen PixInsight. Once PixInsight is loaded, you're going to go ahead into Script, Utilities, and you should see the 4X Palette Utility. If you do not, go ahead and close out of PixInsight and restart your computer. Once your computer is restarted, go ahead and load PixInsight and then recheck Script, Utilities, and you should see 4X Palette Utility. Now, if we go into 4X Palette Utility, you'll see a few options here that we'll go through. If you only have two channels, we'll click that little box, you'll have your red channel and you'll have your, your blue channel that you'll input. If you have three channels, whether that be three channels with your mono camera or you're using a one-shot color camera, you'll have options to put in your green channel, red channel, and blue channel. Now, personally, I like to have RGB stars in my image. And I'll do my color palettes with just the deep sky object, whether that be a galaxy or nebula. Uh, if you want 4X Palette Utility to give you a 4X Palette with your stars, it can do that as well. You'll put in your green channel, red channel, and blue channel for your stars as well. If you're like me and you just want to have RGB stars, what you'll do is click this little box over here, which will then omit the stars, and you just put in the information for your uh, deep sky object, green channel, red channel, blue channel. So let's go ahead and exit out of Forex Palette Utility. I already have IC1805, both stars and the uh, nebula itself prepped. And this, what we, the stage that we're at is we just got done using 
histogram transformation on the stars and generalized hyperbolic stretch on the nebula. If you need help getting to that point, I have two videos um, for PixInsight workflows. Both of those videos will get you right up to this point. And again, this is right after stretching the stars with histogram transformation and stretching the nebula with generalized hyperbolic stretch. I'll have a link to both of those videos in the description of this video. They'll be towards the bottom of the description. Now, what we're going to do is let's choose the nebula first this little icon at my cursor that will separate the color channels. And for the sake of space, let's go ahead and minimize IC1805 and the associated color channels. We'll just scoot those off to the side for the time being. And we're gonna do the same thing with the stars. Click that little icon at my cursor to separate the color channels for the stars. Again, let's go ahead and minimize the stars image and the associated color channels for that. Now let's go ahead and go to script, utilities, and 4x palette utility. Now we have three channels, red, green, and blue. We're gonna click the three channels. If you are using uh, mono or even one shot color and you only wanna use the red and blue channels, Go ahead and click this box over here and it'll allow you to just put in red and blue channels. It'll have similar results either way. Um, it's just an option. What will happen if you take the um, two channel option and use red and blue, it'll make a false green channel for you. It's kind of cool. Uh, Polyman Astro did a very good job with this. So we're gonna click the three channels if you don't want to have a stars image, you'll click this box. It'll omit the stars and just allow you to do the um, deep sky object. For the sake of example, let's go ahead and have it run both. So for the S2 stars, we're gonna choose the um, green channel for the stars. For the HA stars, we're gonna choose the red channel for the stars. For the oxygen three stars or O3 stars, we're gonna choose the blue channel for the stars. Be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to choose the same one for both. In other words, for the green channel for the DSO or IC1805, don't choose the stars one. Go ahead and choose the green for the nebula or galaxy if you're working with a galaxy. HA, we're going to choose the red. And oxygen three, we're going to choose the blue channel. And from here, all we do is hit execute. And the 4X palette utility is going to give us a 4X palette for the stars and a 4X palette for our deep sky object. We'll go ahead and exit out of the other items that the script has created. We don't need those. And from here, you can continue processing your image as normal. And if you need help with further processing, go ahead and check out my PixInsight workflow uh, tutorials. And that is all that it takes to um, download the Forex Palette utility and operate it. So I hope that you found that useful. If you did, do me a favor, that channel icon that just popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any future content. We still have a long way to go. Drop a comment in the comment section. Did you learn anything new? Are you excited to use this? What are your thoughts on the Forex palette? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.